What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So two days ago on Sunday, Meet Kevin, the famed financial advice YouTuber, sold all 100% of his stock and crypto portfolio. His followers are mostly upset and stunned after being told consistently for two years to buy the dip Meet Kevin seems like he paper handed like a weenie baby. In this video, I will share what my thoughts are on Meet Kevin selling everything. I will share with you what changes I'm making on my own investment strategy, as well as share with you what I know is the best way for you to deal with this turbulent market responsibly as stocks continue to slide. If you don't already know, this channel is based on both real estate and stock market investing, as well as just overall entrepreneurship and financial freedom strategies. I am most certainly not a financial advisor, so don't take this at all as any sort of financial advice. First, I wanted to share with you my thoughts on Meet Kevin, generally speaking. I like Meet Kevin. He started off as a real estate agent, just like me, and then he got into real estate investing, just as I did. I always felt a certain commonality based on that. As he got bigger and more popular on YouTube, he got more into the stock market investing side of things, which is understandable because you're gonna want to diversify from your real estate portfolio. In addition, I greatly respect his work ethic. This guy puts up like six videos a day. I know the amount of time and effort that I put in to publishing one video and it is a lot. So I truly understand and appreciate the hustle and the ambition that he shows. Even as he got more heavily involved in stock market investing, he always gave off the impression that he was a normal everyday investor that the little guy can relate to. And I assume that most of his fans and subscribers watch his content for that very reason me included. But for the past year or so, he's become less of a stock market investor and more of a stock market trader. Me, Kevin has sold over 99% of his stock market portfolio and sold 100% of his crypto portfolio. I watched the entire 35 plus minute long video that he posted just two days ago on Sunday, and here are my thoughts on it. Kevin starts off by comparing now to the post-World War I era, where according to him, inflation and overproduction led to the Black Tuesday event of 1929, and then the Great Depression. He then talks about his loss of trust and the market's overall loss of trust in Jerome Powell, specifically after meeting with Joe Biden in person. He thinks that this in-person meeting with Joe Biden has made Jerome Powell more hawkish on interest rate hikes. Frankly, I don't think Joe Biden has that sort of effect on anyone, never mind the head of the Fed, but that's just me. He also expresses his concern in the drop in sentiment in the market because of both inflation as well as Omicron fears. So long story short, he sold all of his portfolio and is making a $20 million bet that the market will go down in the short term and he'll be able to buy back in and time it out correctly. This not only almost never works, at least without an extreme amount of luck, but it's a complete 180 degree reversal from his promotion constantly of buying the dip. This brings me to my first and main thought about this entire situation is credibility. Now, obviously Kevin can do whatever he wants with his own money. I don't think he owes anyone anything, but many of his fans and subscribers are upset. And I think it's because he lost credibility. You simply cannot promote buying the dip for the last two plus years up until as recently as last week when he was telling people to buy the dip and then surprisingly selling all of it unexpectedly because you think that you could time it. This, as he even describes it in the title of his own video, is a bet. It's not an investment strategy. And if you start treating the stock market like a casino where you're betting on things, the stock market will reciprocate. You cannot call sellers or bears paper hands and weenie babies, and then seemingly do the exact same thing yourself. It comes off as extremely hypocritical, and I can understand why his fans are surprised and disappointed. In the comments section of one of Meet Kevin's subsequent follow-up videos, the user Kilo Zulu on YouTube shared a pretty interesting quote from Meet Kevin from March of 2021. Meet Kevin on March 18th, 2021 said, just in case it's not clear, this is a joke. 
I'm not ever becoming an effing weenie baby. I don't sell when prices are falling, I buy. I'd rather sell all of my real estate than sell in a down stock market. Now for the last time, Kevin can do what he wants with his own money. If I were him, I would have sold off his portfolio a long time ago and simply reallocated that, that money into broad index funds. He hit some big returns on some high growth tech stock and I believe made a boatload off of his initial Tesla investments. I think he was in very early investor in Tesla. Great for him, he made decisions that I wouldn't have made and it paid off. But you already won the game. Why not quit while you're ahead, get into positions that are way less risky and maybe deal with like 10% of your portfolio where you could play around with trading and timing the market and buying options and puts and things like that like he does with his entire portfolio. Plus when mostly everything is going up for two years straight, almost anyone could be considered a genius if you had any amount of money in the stock market or really most of anything else for that matter. So if he came out and said he was selling 100% of his portfolio to reallocate into broad index funds because he already has life changing and life settling money for him and his family, that would garner nothing but respect, at least for me. Or even if he said, I'm selling 20% of my total portfolio because I think the market is going to go way further down uh, in the near term and I'm gonna try to time the market, I would say I think that that's foolish, but go right ahead. But to sell 100% of his portfolio because he thinks he has such knowledge of the future that no one else has, I'm not so sure it's gonna work out too well. So this brings us to the very basic question of why did he do it? Kevin seems like a very smart guy, but this to me seems like it could be an emotional move. I can really only think of three logical reasons of why he would sell his entire portfolio in an attempt to time the market. Number one, paper hands. Me, Kevin is highly invested in high growth, high PE tech stocks. These have been the hardest hit sector in this correction by far, with some of these stocks going down anywhere from 40 to 60% from their highs. It is, it is quite possible that he saw his profits evaporating quickly and sold all of it for the sake of himself and his family. That would be understandable, but that is the risk you take when you invest into high PE companies that are, you're betting on future growth and future earnings and a lot of the times they don't even make a profit yet. Number two, margin calls. In my experience watching Meet Kevin's videos, it does seem like he goes in and out of margin fairly frequently in order to time the market. It is very possible that he simply got margin called as his tech stocks got pummeled. I believe in subsequent videos after this, he did say that he was not margin called. I guess we're just gonna have to take his word for it on that one. And lastly, number three, attention. Me Kevin is great at grabbing all of our attention with his colorful backgrounds and banners, as well as his red, green, or shaved off hair. He is very skilled at getting people to click and pay attention to his content, as well as buy his courses. I respect that part of Kevin as it's a very hard trait to learn and a very valuable one as well. But I think the most likely reason for his sell off is attention because at the end of the day, we're all talking about him. I am sure short term that his views and his engagement are way up on his channel since doing this, but I'm afraid that long term his credibility has taken a pretty big hit here, whether that was his intention or not. So my final thoughts on Meet Kevin are this. As stated, I've always liked and respected Meet Kevin from what I could see on his videos. He is a very hard worker that is extremely dedicated to his craft. He seems like a very good family man and does not seem ill-intentioned or to be a liar to me at all. But after this move, he's no longer an investor. He's a strict trader. To be fair, he even said so in the video. He said that long-term, the smartest and wisest move in the stock market is to simply dollar cost average into broad index funds, long-term obviously. But if he's putting a $20 million bet on timing the market, that's just not really something I'm super interested in learning more about. So I'm most likely gonna pretty much stop watching his videos because it doesn't provide value to me. As for my own plan in this turbulent market, my plans simply have not changed. I have not sold anything as of yet and don't plan to, although I have thought of and considered taking even the relatively small portion of my portfolio that are in tech ETFs and just putting that money even more heavily into S&P 500 ETFs. I'm simply going to hold on in the short term, buy as much as I can while the market's down and ignore the noise and the financial news that gets everyone else to invest emotionally instead of focusing on the long term. I simply don't have the energy, mental or physical, or the time 
to be stressing myself out over when to buy, when to sell, puts, calls, margin, options. I don't really want to get involved in any of that. It sounds like way too much time, way too much stress. I'd rather simply spend that time with my family, frankly, and avoid the stress that comes with it. After a decade of really great returns in the stock market, I think we all need to zoom out and look at the five to 10 year approach instead of a three to six month approach. As the great Jack Bogle said, time is your friend, impulse is your enemy. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you got any value or enjoyment out of this video, please hit the like button. Think about hitting the uh, subscribe button as well. Let me know in the comment section what you think about Meet Kevin's move, if it's gonna work out, if it's not. Have you lost your faith in the credibility of Meet Kevin or are you still gonna keep watching? Until next time.